Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating step-by-step -step procedure of how to make Raspberry Pi a web server. Now for making a web server, as we know that we are having Raspbian operating system on Raspberry Pi, so which means that we are having Linux base. So after that, I will be demonstrating how to install Apache web server, MySQL and how to configure and how to run some database commands. After that, we will be installing PHP. We will be covering some basic website and some two or three scripts that one is static and one is dynamic. And after that, we will be also telling you that how to install WordPress on Raspberry Pi. So which means a all in one complete web server on Raspberry Pi. So as you can see that I have already logged into my Raspberry Pi. It's a fresh Raspbian operating system. So let us start with a basic command. Now as we do into Ubuntu, that is apt hyphen get update in order to update the repositories so that we can get the latest packages. So same procedure we will be demonstrating that is with the sudo apt hyphen get update. And then we will be starting with the part A that is the installation of Apache Web server. So let us begin. The first command will be sudo apt hyphen get update. And this command will update all the repositories so that whatever packages we require uh, for Raspberry Pi, it will be downloaded in the latest manner from the internet and from the repositories. So it is updating almost 56% is there. Yes, good enough. So some more packages will be updated. So at the first moment, it will take some time. But after that, when you update it, it will not take much time. So almost 9 MB of packages have been crawled. And now it is reading and updating all the databases. All the commands which I am going to start right now is available downstairs at the video. So follow steps and make it a Raspberry Pi a web server. So no problems in coming. So let us clear this and now let us start with the part A that is installation of Apache web server. So let us fire this command sudo apt hyphen get install apache2 space minus y. So about 2 MB of the package will be there and it will be consuming about 6 MB of disk space. So it has been downloaded and now it will be pre-configuring the packages. So after it gets set, let us first of all open the IP address on the web browser so that we can confirm that it has been installed and configured properly. And then we proceed with some settings. So it is setting up the Apache 2. You can see on the screen and it is enabling the modules. So the enable default site that is 000-default has been enabled. Almost done. Some more libraries. Good enough. So let us first of all open the default web browser and let us first of all open the IP address. We are having the IP address that is 192.168.1.100. So let us copy paste this address over here. So you can see that Apache 2 default web page is there and it is, is uh, telling all the configuration document routes and reporting problems. The coming of this web page means that it has been configured perfectly. So let us proceed with the next command that is changing the default web page. So let us go to this uh, location cd slash where slash www slash html. 
So let us go with this command ls space minus al. So the three commands, the uh, three files will be there dot 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 and index dot html. So let us change the owner to our own user. So let us copy paste this command. And now let us go to the part B that is installation of PHP. So let us fire this command with a PHP lib PHP and lib PHP mod hyphen PHP. So let us paste this and let us press enter. So it has been started downloading. It is about uh, 10 MB of the package and it will be consuming about 20 MB of the disk space. So it has downloaded all the 5 to 10 MB. So looking good. So it is unpacking some more libraries. So some libraries can take some time and some will take a short span. So it is now unpacking the PHP 5 and it is enabling Raspberry Pi to run all the PHP based web language. So it is now creating the config file and invoking the module. and creating the config file that is php.ini enabling the module php5 for apache so that they can work tightly and properly Let us create one index.php file. So give this command sudo nano index.php. So it will be a blank file. And let us copy this command into this. So it will say hello world. So let us save this file, control X and press Y and press enter. So after that, let us delete the index.html file, which is located over here. So rm sudo rm index dot html. So let us restart the service of Apache so that uh, we can open our new web uh, website which has been created that is index.php. It is reloading and now let us restart the Apache service. Copy this and let us paste it. So let us refresh the website. Now you can see that it is hello world, which means that PHP and Apache web server are working perfectly fine. So let us try something dynamic. So again, let me open the web, uh, the file that is sudo nano index.php. So let us type this, which will uh, show us the time as well as the date. Let's remove this script and let us paste it. So control X, yes, and press enter. And let us refresh the web page again. So now you can see it is showing the year, the month, the date and the current time. So now let us go and start the part C that is the installation of MySQL. So let us give this command.
let us copy this and let us paste it so it is about 8 MB of download size and about 90 MB of additional disk space will be used so it will take some time to download and even to take the proper configuration and proper gets adjusted into the Raspberry Pi so it has been downloaded in a proper manner and now it will be asking you regarding the password which will be the root password so let me provide the password so now it has started pre-configuring it will unpack then it will be configuring and then it will be uh, you can say cleaning up all the temporary files and making Raspberry Pi perfectly ready to act as MySQL database server So after that we will be going with some commands of MySQL and then we will be coming towards the part D that is the download part of WordPress. So it is unpacking all the packages. So the SQL Server which we will be using is SQL Server 5.5 which is the latest into the repository of Raspberry Pi so it will take some time and now it is setting up So about minute or two will be required for Raspberry Pi to unpack and to set up everything. So be patient do, doing this operation. So it is processing some triggers and it is updating the database and now it is processing the triggers for library files and system MD. So now it is setting up the MySQL Server Core and MySQL Server as well as the MySQL Client. So everything seems normal and perfectly fine. So you can see that it has started MySQL as a process with ID number 13991. It is the process ID. So now it is setting up the PHP MySQL module and invoking some files so that we can work properly. So good enough. So let us uh, start the MySQL server. MySQL minus u root space minus p. So let us enter the password which we have entered during the installation. 
so it has showing you the prompt so let us uh, go with these command that is create database wordpress so i'm doing the backend job so let us create one user and identify it by the password so you can change the username and even the password as per your requirements so after that let us go with this command that is flush privileges so that the privileges can be there and let us exit it so mysql has been properly set and we are all ready to start the part d that is installation of wordpress so we are already into this directory so let us invoke some of these commands so sudo rm space star and now let us download the wordpress by using this command so it is resolving wordpress.org and now it will be downloading the latest version it is about 8 mb so it has been downloaded you can see that it has been downloaded latest.tar.gz so we have to extract this folder use this command it has been extracted so let us move the wordpress and now let us remove the main file so now we are all set and now let us go to restart the apache web server so give this command sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash apache to reload and let us restart it copy this and let us paste it so let us refresh the website so now you can see that it has come to welcome to wordpress so database name username password host all it requires so let us first of all click on let's go so here we have to provide the username that is my name anand and my password which was again anand so click on submit so now what we have to do is to create the wp-config.php file with this configuration so let us copy all this and let us come to raspberry pi and let us create this command uh, with the file that is sudo nano wp-config.php so it is very important so just right click so the contents are there you can check so all the contents are being copied so let us control x yes and press enter so let us now click on run the install yes so now you can see that it has come and now we have to provide some basic things that we have to give site title that is my name username will be again my name so let us uh, copy this password which we can require and we can say that abc@gmail.com will be there so install wordpress so now you can see that the wordpress is being installed it will take some time so let us go to log in so let me type my name and let me type give the password so in a few seconds we will welcomed by our website so wordpress is somewhat heavy for raspberry pi yes so now you can see that everything has been set up so which means by coming by seeing this web page i can say that we have properly configured the apache web server php mysql as well as the wordpress on raspberry pi so you can see that how much easy it is to configure raspberry pi as a web server so just you need is a public ip you can make raspberry pi always on as a web server and you can host start hosting the website so do give this a shot i hope you like this video so do like this and share with your friends thank you so much for watching